don't know if y'all can tell, but one side of my face is a lot stronger than the other right now. Let me explain. I know this is weird. It brings it. Like a year and a half ago, I uh, started to see this really big mass growing on my jaw. If you guys have been following me for a while, like you probably remember it. So my oral surgeon who did all of like my, um, cause I was born without a tooth, tooth, who did my implants and my bone graft and stuff. He looked at it and he was like, Danny, like you should probably get an MRI. Like that looks like something really serious. He thought it was maybe a tumor growing on my jaw. If you guys look now, you can kind of see like that mask. So got the MRI done, doctor looked at the results, nothing was wrong, thank goodness. But he was like, hey, if you really, you know, if you want to, you know, kind of treat that, you should look into Botox. I was like, Botox? I was like, I hear I was thinking I had a tumor or something. But he said that a lot of people will treat Botox for um, like TMJ, grinding, teeth grinding, that sort of thing. So I did it. And I went back a week and a half ago for my second go around. Oh, sorry. Right now, this whole side of like, probably like from here to here is just not very strong. They said it takes about seven days for it to kind of even out. So when I smile, it just still kind of looks weird, but they said it'll totally like even out and it should be all good. So anyway, wanted to preface with that. The second thing I want to say is welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just getting ready for like a typical date night with Jordan, like no big deal. I'm not going all out with my makeup. Plus, I'm not really a beauty guru. Like I don't do all these like crazy, you know, insane makeup looks. I just do like normal things. Like, I don't know, just normal makeup that doesn't take 15, hours. I'm going to show you guys my wig too that I'm wearing later, my outfit, just a normal day. Um, all these products are from basically going to be listed down below and a lot of them are from Nordstrom. I love shopping Nordstrom. I think my first word as a baby was Nordstrom. What I love is the curbside checkout. Like for this video, I really needed my, um, a new foundation. I love this foundation, but it doesn't last very long. And then my new setting powder that I was out of and I just did like the curbside checkout. I also love that whenever I order like jeans or an outfit from Nordstrom, if it doesn't fit, there's free shipping, free returns. It's so nice. So I'm going to list everything that I am using down below in the description box. Um, and yeah, just highly encourage you guys to check out Nordstrom because I also like getting those points to shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale in July. Oh my gosh. It's, it is a good one. <laughs> So um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna dive into the little beauty tutorial. Um, like I said, I'm no beauty guru, but you know, same thing with y'all. Like you know what's good and you like what you like. And so here we go. I'm starting out with, oh, I actually didn't put on a moisturizer yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Seriously, magical. I don't know what it is about this cream, but once you try it, like you'll know too and you'll be like, Oh, Danny, I get you. And I also don't know how to articulate why it's so good, but it just, it's so hydrating and smooth and like, like thick, but not, you know, not to the point where it makes me feel greasy, but still just makes me feel so hydrated. I'm such a fan. I love Charlotte Tilbury. Taking it down to the neck. It is kind of pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for sometimes. That's not always true. And this is the video where Danny rambles for two hours. So now I'm going with my favorite primer at the moment. This is also from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Wonder Glow. I like this because it has a little bit of like an illuminator to it, but it has, it's more of like a gold champagne illuminator. So that primer is just gonna ensure that all of the makeup that we use is going to stick. Now I'm going in with my favorite foundation. This is Too Faced Born This Way. This is just such a good formula. It's more of, I guess, a, it says medium to full coverage, which I like. I also like that it's hydrating. So I'm just gonna use my fingers because I'm easy going. Also just wanna say I have not looked in the mirror while I applied this, which is pretty freaking impressive. All right, so it's not on evenly, but I'm gonna take my wet beauty blender. It's kind of damp and I am just going to pat this in. Okay, next I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and then also add a little bit of a highlight. 
I also like to use a fluffy blending brush whenever I blend in my concealer because I feel like it just creates that like airbrush look. I've been doing this since I was like in high school. There we go with the concealer. Now I'm gonna move on to my setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder. I mean, it is just everybody's favorite setting powder from Laura Mercier. The translucent powder is just so lightweight and just easy to use. You just can't go wrong, so here we go. Little tip, if you wanna take your um, brush that you're using, like your powder brush, and you tap it a couple of times, all that formula that was like sitting on top will kind of go into the bristles and distribute evenly on your face. See, I feel like I'm actually kind of good at this like beauty tip stuff. You know why? It's because I've been watching a lot of Jeffree Star lately. I don't know what's gotten into me, but I just sit there and I'm like, whoa, 45 minutes later, what was I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? So I'm just going to swipe this bad boy over my face. Like I said, I mean, I'm more like, I don't want to spend 50 hours on my makeup. So everything I do is pretty quick, including my bronzer. This is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I love it. It's, I've used it since high school. It's still like, when I smell it, I still want to eat it. I've been using it for like six years. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this. Seriously, it smells so yummy. Speaking of yummy, like what is the deal with the Justin Bieber controversy slash do we like the song Yummy? Because everybody's like, oh my God, that song's so bad. I'm like, oh, so awkward because I actually kind of like it. I mean, I don't know what the lyrics are and stuff, but like, I kind of like it. <laughs> everybody's like, that song's so terrible. I'm like, secretly like listening to yummy over and over but there was like some like people were upset about something that he did because he like worked with youtubers or something to promote his song i don't know there is new tea being spilled every five minutes and it's just like people just wanting to get upset about something because they don't want to deal with going what's going on in their own lives that's too serious okay so i'm taking the bronzer and i'm just doing my little three formation to kind of contour like a person that's in a rush. I mean, sometimes I'll even take my Benefit bronzer and I'll just like, I'm just, I just swipe it everywhere. People say, Danny, you look a little orange. Well, I'd rather look a little orange than a little pale. That's just for me, you know, I actually think pale, pale is beautiful. I really do think that like Anne Hathaway, gorgeous. Um, and anybody that's felt, I just don't like it on me. You gotta do you, you know? Next up, we're gonna use this Milani blush because it is the NARS, it's like a NARS dupe. So good, y'all. It's so pretty. It has a little bit of a gold highlight to it. Not too much, cause a little goes a long way, people. And then, you know, if you did put too much on, like me <laughs> you can just blend that in with your big blender brush do y'all hear lola barking a part of me wants to be like lola shut up but she's also a dog and i can't so now let's move on to the brows i don't really do anything for brows i use this chart busy gal brows and i just kind of brush those bad boys up in a vertical or not vertical like diagonal direction so let's do eyes um, for eyeshadow. Now this is not one of those eyeshadow looks where like you have to fo follow the exact colors that I use. Um, you can really use any colors that you want, but I'm just basically gonna do like a matte color on my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury um, color, like this shimmery goldish bronze color and just dab like a little bit to create a little bit of a shimmer. So, you know, it's nothing crazy, but let's go in with this light brown. It's called Solita. Um, this is the Becky G ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I love all of the names of these colors are so fun. Just taking a fl fluffy blending brush and defining that crease. 
And so same with your eyeshadow brush. If you find that you get too much product on your eyeshadow brush and then you know you put it on your eye and there's just like all this gunk, what you can do is after you floof it in the color, tap, and all of that color will get deeper into your bristles and come out even. It's a great makeup tip. I don't remember where I learned it, but probably in one of the um, 500 YouTube videos I watched yesterday, lol. Now what you can do is you can take a darker color and kind of define a little bit like this little V situation on the outer thirds. That's just gonna make your eyes look more va va boom. So for example, like I could take this loca, that means crazy in Spanish. I don't know if y'all know this, but I am half Hispanic, so that's why I speak some Spanish. Hables español, sí. Entiendo todo, pero no puedo hablar muy bien. Pero entiendo todo. Mi mamá es de México, o México y mi, what do you say, grandparent? I forgot. Is de um, España. So I'm just gonna take that like a little bit darker brown and I'm just gonna define on the outer third. Oh, now that was probably too much for me. Like I don't wanna be like too dramatic. So I'm gonna take a really fluffy blending brush and just kind of like blend that in. Because here's the thing. Makeup's all about blending. You know, nothing needs to stick how it is. Like you can always change it up, blend it in, blend it out, blend it round and round. Okay, see how much that helped? Like, cool. I'm glad that we got past that together. It was like just a little too dramatic for me. I like more of a natural look. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so two ways that you can apply the shimmer on top of this whole situation, you can either use your finger or you can go and wet a flat um, shading brush and put it into the formula. But that's a lot of effort and it would require me standing up, <laughs> which is something I don't really feel like doing right now. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm going to rub that in and I'm just gonna apply it to my lid like so. Dab, 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 nothing special. But I do love these like Charlotte Tilbury formulas. They're so pretty. They're so gorgeous. Okay. Woohoo! Your girl is ready for date night. Just kidding, we gotta do lashes. Oh my gosh, we got to, we have so much more to do. Oh my goodness. For eyeliner, um man, this is I just got a new um eyeliner from Benefit. Ordered this one from um, Nordstrom as well. I got the mini one because I wanted to make sure that I liked it. Oh, these new nails that I got are so tough. They're so tough, like I've never had um fake nails before and it's really an issue so this is the mini um it's a brown liquid liner i wanted to get a brown just because you know black is so harsh i wanted to try something new i'm gonna go in with this liquid liner line my top lip if you can't see it on camera i'm so sorry i'll have to work on that all right i'm thinking about going in with a little winged eyeliner but i'm really gonna need y'all to believe in me with this one because <laughs> This whole winged eyeliner situation is tough. Dear Lord, help me with my winged eyeliner. Make it even. Okay, so what you basically want to do is take, like if you just drew an imaginary line from like here to here, you just want to follow that line. Look at me acting like I know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, y'all, that was so freaking good. Like, do you see that? I mean, it's like not perfect, but nobody's perfect. Oh, I think we made a comeback. I mean, it was looking really rough there for a minute, but then, oh, that eye is way bigger than this. Oh, well, you know, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. I really messed it up now. Hello. Let me ask you something. Does my winged eyeliner look uneven on one eye? No, it looks even. Okay, that's why I married you. He doesn't pay attention to details. <laughs> now we are gonna do some mascara. So I got this new mascara um, in, this was like a sample that was sent to me, I don't know, it's kind of random, but it's called Damn Girl, so I guess we're gonna try that. Oh, okay. I see you, Too Faced. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say something. I'm never like that impressed with the Too Faced mascaras. And I know that so many people are just ride or die, so I hope I didn't offend 
the hardcore Too Faced mascara lovers out there. I just, you know, I honestly prefer drugstore or I really like, um, I really like the Tarte Surfer Curl one right now. I think it's just because I like for my lashes to look long and voluminous and like I feel like these, this one like doesn't make them do that. I feel like it just, they just look like average lashes. But mascara is also all about layering and putting on 50,000 layers. So maybe after I do this layer, I'll do my um, a layer of my favorites. So finally have on my layers of mascara. Now we're gonna move on to um, lips. So for my lips, I am using a Charlotte Tilbury liner. This is in the color Pillow Talk, and I love, obviously you can tell that I've used the heck out of this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna draw a hump from one corner to the next to make my lips look bigger. And then I'm gonna line like a little outside my lips, but not a ton. <laughs> So there we have the lip liner. And then for my lip color, I am gonna be using this MAC um, color in Burnt Spice. I really like how long it lasts. It's also a matte formula. And once it starts to get like a little cakey throughout the day, I'll just throw in a gloss over it and it's really pretty. Okay, one of the last steps that I'm going to do is add concealer over everything underneath my eyes just to brighten things up. Um, you know, I always talk about how this goes against the rules of makeup, but I don't know, like I I get like some creases throughout the day, but not any more or less if I do this. So I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush. You can just see how much brighter it makes my eyes look underneath. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier highlighter. This is in the color Addiction. It's really pretty and I think I have a little highlighting brush somewhere from It Cosmetics. So I'm gonna swirl it around in there and then just highlight. You almost wanna draw like a little C. The last thing I think I'm gonna actually do is take um, a pencil eyeliner in black. This is just a Tarte pencil and I'm just gonna line a little bit on my waterline on top on the outer corners just so for like a little added definition. If you really wanted to as well, you could go in with the Charlotte Tilbury palette that we had earlier and take a little eyeshadow brush. This is Sigma Pencil E30. And you could add a little of the eyeshadow to um, like, if you wanna add some definition underneath your eyes here, we'll just do a little bit. Sometimes I might just add like a little, just pop on a little bit more blush and um, but the last thing for real is to add a setting spray. Y'all, this really does make a difference. I don't know if you've ever used one before. They're incredible. Little tip for using a setting spray. Maybe do like one little. Okay, that's good. It's okay if your face feels a little wet after using it. What you want to do, I learned this from a Makeup Forever um, class. You wanna take like a sponge, like something like this, or like this little sponge here and you wanna press it into your skin. People always are like, oh my gosh, is that gonna mess up my makeup putting a little bit of that? No. All right, so here we're gonna be wearing my um, folia for today. I have a cute little <laughs> wig stand that I keep her on. Um, the first thing I'll do, so since she is European hair, she tends to get a little bit more um, tangly than some of my other wigs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of brush her out a little bit. This wig stand's kind of janky. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is take my little buns out and I'm gonna pin up my hair so that it can be ready for my wig. It's a really good look for me. Okay, here is what the folia wig looks like on. Um, I feel like it looks very natural. I haven't had time to like add curls or style it, um, which makes it look even better. Or if I even just wash it, it hasn't been washed in like a couple of weeks. So 
that definitely needs to happen but at least you guys can kind of see what it looks like whenever i just throw it on and you know we're good to go okay so here is my outfit for tonight jordan and i are about to head out so i'm having him film me really fast hello so my whole outfit's from nordstrom i'll link it down below free people top which I think is really cute. Some free people distressed crop denim, and then these Vince Camuto um, suede booties, and a little white Gucci belt. Gucci, 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 mama. Alrighty, here is my finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I will put everything that I talked about down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.